Steve here with Paranormal Quest. I uh, just wanted to uh, let you all know that I had an opportunity uh, to uh, come over here and uh, check on the infamous Belair house for a good friend of mine, Kristen Lee. Uh, her back was causing her a great deal of pain, so she couldn't make it down to, to check on her house. Uh, so she got a hold of me, and I said, no problem. Uh, I'd be more than happy to come over and check on the house. And she actually gave me permission to uh, spend some time here, um, do a little investigating, and uh, which I definitely take any and all opportunities I can to check out this amazing location. Um, basically, due to uh, the current health situation that we're all going through, um, it's nearly impossible for Dave, Ryan, Jason, and I to get together to investigate. But we all decided, you know, we want to do what we can to put material, keep putting material um, up on, uh, on PQ's page. Uh, so we can share our, uh, share our paranormal evidence, our lives with you. So I'm um, gonna head in, uh, set up, uh, get the batteries checked, get ready to go, and uh, I will see you on the inside. The Belair House was built by coal tycoon Jacob Hetherington. As he lived in this area, he built his fortune by mining coal in the Ohio Valley. The house was eventually passed down to his grandchildren, Lyde and Edwin Hetherington. But unfortunately, shortly after, Lyde would die inside the house. Edwin made it his life's mission to contact Lyde by inviting psychics and mystics into the home to conduct seances in order to communicate with his late sister. It's believed these seances opened up portals inside the house, some of which are believed to have remained open until this day. It's because of this that the Belair House is said to be one of the most haunted houses in all of America. All right, I am now locked into the Belair House. And I will say, it definitely feels like there's uh, interesting uh, energy here tonight. So really looking forward to seeing uh, what we get. Uh, I'm going to get, uh, like I said in the car, I'm going to get everything ready, uh, everything set up. Uh, for us to uh, take on the Blair House for a little bit. So, uh, all right, we'll get started. And they're all set up. Got the 360, you get the pump running on the 360. And straight ahead over there on the piano is the REM pod. Um, got the. They're just really odd, calm. At first, when I walked in here, um, there is that feeling of just like uncertainty. There's like an energy in a way, an uneasy feeling. But now it just seems peaceful. As I'm sure you're aware, I'm all, I'm going solo here tonight, so. It'd be really cool to have some company. Kristen said it was okay for me to come over and check on the house and that it was okay to spend some time here and see if uh, if any of you'd like to have some company. Who's here tonight? It's the parlor room. I'm going to switch that pump over to the uh, okay. Is there anyone upstairs? There's a device over on the uh, piano right there. I'm sure you've seen those before. If there's anyone here that would be willing to, if you went over there and activated that, touched that device, I'd be, uh, I'd appreciate it. I can know that you're here. I'm gonna go over here to this corner. 
Hope I don't walk into anything. Nope, nothing there. Can you make a, maybe a knocking sound upstairs or wherever you're at? Out of everybody who's uh, visited here, can you give us a, a first name or a last name of of who you like to communicate with the most? A lot of folks are afraid of this house. I'm not trying to pro negatively provoke here, but honestly, every time pretty much I've been here, it's a, it seems to be a very welcoming, comfortable house. Again, while I'm trying to be disrespectful in any way, it's a very beautiful house. So we'll move over here and head over to the other room. Pick up the recorder. I really to leave the REM pod down here just in case and I can hear it go off if it does. So I got a recorder, got my 360 periscope heading upstairs to the second floor. Recording in front of me obviously. Interesting enough, I just realized that this I think it's this cabinet and the door right there. One of the previous visitations we had here at the Blair House that actually opened by itself. I was sitting on the bed with a couple other people and they had a spirit box. I think that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And we were talking to it and uh, I looked over at the cabinet and we asked it to open the cabinet and the cabinet was already like this, but it opened and it was kind of like this for a moment and then open and you caught this on video right yes again if you don't want to communicate with me here um there's a uh a device down on the piano uh, it's got a red light on it if you uh touch that device on top of it it'll uh it'll light up it'll make a sound it won't hurt you but it'll let me know that you're here being that the door open on the wardrobe was it because of someone that's attached to the house or might it be someone who's attached to the actual wardrobe it's on the opposite side You make the light come around this side. There we go. How do you feel about hundreds and hundreds of people staying here and trying to communicate with you? Do you like people trying to communicate to, when they come in to try to learn more about you? I 
me grab the stuff in here. Try a different room. I lean in the corner. Alrighty. Alright. Again, underneath the lamp is the 360. On the corner of the car right there is the red corner. Oh, we got some lights. 360's activating there. It was. Again, remember, I did not turn that off and just turn that back on. That thing has been on constantly. Do you like that device? You know, that device, I'm pretty curious about it. We've used it a few times, but I'm still... Still not 100%. sure with it if there's anyone here if you would go close to that device like right now right at this point and light it up that would help help me out a lot to know if that's actually a what was it tapping sound over here Let's fix this what was it I'm going to have to go here in a few. Is there a message you'd like me to take with me? Maybe to Kristen or Ryan, Dave, or Jason? Like I said, they couldn't make it. But we all love this house. Downstairs there's a device on the piano. I mentioned it before. Would anyone in the house be willing to go down and just just activate it one time? That would be awesome. Well, uh, it seems to be pretty quiet here uh, at the Bel Air house tonight. Um, I want to thank Kristen uh, for the opportunity to spend a little while here at the Bel Air house and try to make communication with the, uh, with the spirits here. Uh, like I probably said multiple, multiple times in this video, I love this house. I've always felt um, a draw to the house, um, just a, a positiveness to the house. Been a few times, of course, you know, there's a bit of it's been some heavy energy, but all in all, this is an amazing location. The history is just, just amazing. It, it's just, I can't say enough about the house. So, um, there's the hallway. No. Um, again, uh, I'm going to cut this, uh, cut this off right here. So, uh, I got to get heading back, head, head back over the river, uh, back home, and, uh, I got some got some art to work on tonight, so I'll be doing some uh, some painting. Uh, but again, reaching out to each and every one of you going through the uh, these tough times uh, with the health crisis and all. And again, Ryan, Dave, Jason, and I send our positive thoughts, positive energy, and our prayers to each and every one of you. And uh, as always, stay safe. Talk to you later.